Let's see how this day goes. You okay? <coughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, <coughs> fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Sure. You, me, and John. This whole thing is pretty much done, but Dutch still has our money hidden away, so. Well, how do you mean? When the time comes, just be uh, ready. What do you mean? I mean, if we can get out of here with money, <laughs> you and me, we ain't. We're more ghosts than people. And none of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Okay. I'm with you. Well, then you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then? Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. Wait, she's from Dutch's gang.
He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. You know, you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
If you wouldn't... Mind coughing in your sleeve, sir? I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request is all. Well, you won't believe this. It turns out the Miller's new baby has both sets of pie bed. You oh, have a good one. You just left. You all right? Thank you for your help. <laughs> all right, girl. Yep.
Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. This one has done it. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of the vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Come on, girl. So, this Colonel Favors, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. 
Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. You cannot afford more conflict, especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well... Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Let's go, girl. Yep. Don't get too close to this wagon. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? Good.
Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so.
before Blackwater, I had my doubts, but since then, we've had folk drop like flies. Men I've ridden with for years, just dead, gone. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
men up ahead. Hello. Whoa! Easy. We trust the killer now. Kola with Yampi. Hilpo. Kunyapi Ktelo. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. But removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <coughs> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. 
Let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Don't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. You son of a bitch. Get off. Do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. 
Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me.